Hey folks, it's Mary. Today I want to show you how to make this scarf. I'm calling it my Meet with the Dean scarf because it's a design that I came up with when I was in college and I would work on these in the middle of class. So to make this scarf, I used one ball of Wool Ease yarn. That is a four weight yarn and it comes in about 200 yards per skein. This scarf is about five and a half inches wide and about four feet long using just one skein. So if you want a longer scarf, think about 100 yards for two feet of length. To make this scarf, you're going to need a 6.0 millimeter hook, a J10 hook, and you're gonna need to know how to chain, single crochet, and double crochet. Let's get started. For this tutorial, I am still using wool ease. You do not have to use this kind of yarn, but that's what I'm using, and this is the colorway Cranberry. And I'm gonna start by putting a slip knot on the hook, and I'm going to chain 17. So bear in mind, in my tutorials, I do yarn over from front to back. That is not standard, and it doesn't really make that big of a difference when you are crocheting. So chain 17, and then I will meet with you there. All right, so I have my 17 chains on the hook, and when I'm making this scarf, I would always work into the back bumps. Now, you don't have to do it that way, but that's how I was taught, and when I came up with this design, I was very new to crochet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip that first chain on the hook, and I'm going to go into the back bump, and I'm going to single crochet across. So I skip that first chain, I'm single crocheting into the next, I'm gonna go into that back bump, so I'm going underneath the V of the chain, and I am single crocheting. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna single crochet all the way across, and at the end of this row, this is just our setup row, but we will have 16 single crochets. All right, so we have our setup row, we have 16 single crochets. For row two, we're gonna chain two. Now, if you like to chain three when you are going up for a double crochet, go ahead and do that. If you like to do a standing double crochet, go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna do a chain two and turn my work. So next, I'm gonna work a row of double crochets, one double crochet into every single crochet straight across. There's one, two, just one double crochet per single crochet stitch all the way across, and at the end of this row, we will have 16 double crochets. All right, I am at the end of row two, and I have 16 double crochets across. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Row three, very straightforward. All we're gonna do is put one single crochet in every double crochet stitch across. So we will have a row of 16 double crochets and then a row, right on top of that, a row of 16 single crochets all the way across. And that is row three. I'm at the end of row three and I have 15 of these single crochets. If you want, you can just put your last single crochet here at the top of that double crochet or something that I like to do, I like to go in between that last double crochet and my chain up, and I put that last stitch right in between there. That to me just helps it make it a little bit straighter going up, but that is not necessary. You do what you want to do. So that is the end of row three. Now I'm going to chain two up. Again, you can chain three. I'm gonna turn my work, and this is now the shell row. So row four, the first thing I'm gonna do is skip that first space, that first stitch, and then I'm going to double crochet, three double crochets into that second stitch. One, two, three. So we have the chain up there, and then we have one, two, three in that second stitch. Now I'm going to skip two single crochets and I'm gonna put four double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, So I'm gonna skip two more, one, two, and I'm gonna put another four double crochets into that next stitch. 
a shell of four. Now I am going to skip two more single crochets, one, two, and in that next stitch, I'm gonna put four more double crochets. So, so far we have our cluster of three in that second stitch, then we have a cluster of four, cluster of four, cluster of four. We're gonna skip two more, and now we're gonna go and put three double crochets in this third to last. So three double crochets in the third to last stitch. And to finish off, we're gonna skip the next stitch and we're gonna double crochet in that last single crochet. And so here is what row four looks like. So those two kind of flanking shells and then three in the middle that each have four double crochets in them. All right, so now we're gonna start the next row, row five. We are going to chain one, turn our work, and now we're gonna have to get back to 16 stitches here, and we're gonna do it by skipping some stitches periodically. So it's a little bit complicated, but not that much. You'll get into a rhythm of it really quickly. So we've chained one, and now we're gonna do a single crochet back into that first double crochet. Now we're gonna single crochet into the next three double crochets, so one, two, three. So now on row five, we have a total of four single crochets across the top, so four. Next, we're gonna skip a stitch and we're gonna single crochet into the next three. So we have four, skip three. Now we're gonna skip one more and we're gonna single crochet into the next two stitches. One, two, and then we're gonna do the reverse of this. So we have four, skip three, skip two, skip, skip this one, three, Then we're gonna skip the next stitch and we're gonna single crochet into the top one, two, three. So that's those three stitches of that shell. And then we're gonna just put a single crochet here in the top of that turning chain four. So row five is not just straight across, but it is four single crochet, skip three single crochet, skip two single crochet, skip three single crochet, skip four single crochet. So four, three, two, three, four. And that will get us back to our 16 stitches. And now we can repeat that all the way throughout the scarf. So we're gonna go back to row two. Row two was just a row of double crochet straight across. Row three was a row of single crochet straight across, and then row four and row five were the shell rows. And I will meet back with you to do the second repetition of row four and five. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three repeat, and I have 15 single crochets across, and I am actually going to single crochet in between my 16th stitch and my turning chain. And then I'm going to do a repeat of row four, so chain up two, turn my work, skip the first stitch, three double crochets in the next. Skip two stitches, one, two, and four double crochets in the next.
skip two stitches, one, two, four double crochets in the next. Skip two stitches and four double crochets in the next. Skip two stitches, one, two, and three double crochets in the next. Skip one stitch and double crochet in that very last stitch. So now we are on row five. We're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next two. One, two. Skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. Skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next three and then at the top of the turning chain. So for row five we have four single crochet, skip three single crochet, skip two single crochet, skip three single crochet, skip four single crochet. And that is that repeat of row five. So from here on out, you are repeating row two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five, as long as you want to go. And when you get to the end of your yarn, you will have something that looks like this. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you like this tutorial, put a like on the video. I would really appreciate that. And I would love to hear in the comments what you think, if you ever got in trouble with your dean at university for crocheting in class, anything like that. I'd love to hear your stories there. And if you'd like to get in contact with me for any reasons, if you have any questions, please do let me know. And if you make this project, feel free to email me photos. I would love to see them. Link in the description to my email address below. Thanks so much. And and if I'm not your cup of tea, thank you very much for listening this long. I do appreciate you, and I do hope I'll see you again soon. Bye!